There's a gold rush going on today, and it's in Ghana, Africa. Gold is enjoying some of the highest prices on the global market. With record high prices like this, mining companies are digging pretty much wherever they can, and a lot of them are rushing to Ghana for a piece of the action. Ghana is the second largest gold producer in Africa. Ghana has a long, solid history of political and economic stability. English is their official language and taught early from primary school. The IMF has just designated Ghana as a middle-income country. Ghana, once named the Gold Coast, has a long history of mining, especially for gold. Gold from West Africa was traded to Europe at least as early as the 10th century. The Ghana government has worked to attract new investments and has already sold much of its mineable land to large international mining companies. Fortunately, mineable land is still accessible through joint ventures with local Ghana mine owners. Yamahiro Mining Company Limited, a local Ghana-owned mining operation, is offering partnership opportunities for up to 150 acres in the historical Ashanti gold fields. The Ashanti gold fields possesses some of the world's largest gold deposits. Um, as you see here, uh, the beautiful metal called gold is about three hours production with 14 smoothies pop. I gave us this. Um, we're going to get more better um, when the, the starlight. When they start like, uh, we watch like eight hours, we're going to get more than that. So with the investor coming in with a bigger wash plan, we're going to get 10, 10 to 20 times of this. And that is going to be very good. An ideal candidate would be a mid to small size mining company, an on-site working partner looking to enter the Africa gold industry. Financing investments can be secured by equipment purchases. Ghana has one of the strongest and most efficient legal structures for investment protection in Africa. African countries are among the fastest growing economies in the world. Ghana is projected to grow by well over 10% this year, and nearly 40% of the countries in the region are likely to see 6% or higher growth rates. Ghana is strategically located for local freight forwarders to ship equipment, and machinery via water instead of the much more expensive overland or air route. With mining operations located deep in the bush, access can be challenging. Dirt roads can be aggravated by rainy seasons. Two rainy seasons occur from April to July and from September to November. Access to the gold fields can include crossing a river by boat or crossing a small stream on nature-made bridges. Equipment costs are at a premium in Ghana. An excavator that can be purchased for $50,000 in the United States costs $35,000 a month for a lease in Ghana. Today, the excavator that the mining company is leasing has a broken hose and is out of commission. CAT is the preferred machinery because it's easier getting spare parts in Ghana for cats. Because of the down excavator, today's work is with a small work crew using only traditional labor methods. This is one of the two active 25-acre work sites that the company is currently working. They have been digging here with an excavator. Without excavators, loads are done manually by pans. Sluice boards are used for gold recovery. Sluice boards recover only about 30% of the gold dust that is washed across them. Gold dust is molded into little balls to make sure that all of the gold dust is secured. Gold is taken for final processing and sale at a local storefront gold dealer. We got to pound it, break it. You break it before you can melt it.
so we put it in the water. We put it in the water. We put it in the water. We put it in the I am going to put it in the pot. I'm going to pass it on top of it. Put it on the fire. Or it will move all the beds in it. So we put acid on it. Ah, look. Uh, so we put acid on it. Uh, we put it in the fire. So we send it to the fire. So if you remove all the dirt in it, then you make it purify. Uh, so we put acid in the fire. We move all the dirt in the uh, to get a purifier. We put it on the fire for some time. So you put it on the fire again to dry it. So now it's dry it up. This it's now purified, so you're going to put it in the pot, then we melt it to get the metal. Uh, uh, use your hand. <laughs> and this is for us. This is what we put on it to melt it faster. So we can take the gold out. So we put this in it. It's called borax. Then we now send it into the pot and the fire. So you put it on the fire to melt it in the form of meat. We cover it. Put it in the fire for some time, like 20 or 30 minutes. Then when it melts, you pour it. So you wait for 30 minutes. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Beautiful. So with this, um, was about three hours on production. Oh, the sluice box was 14. 14, 14 sluice box. Three hours production. So when we do like eight hours production, we're going to get like four times this in a day. We're going to get four times this in a day. So if more that is going to be like um, 12 ounces a day. Mm -hmm. But if the small sluice balls? The small sluice balls, we're going to get like um, 15 or 20 ounces a day. On the scale, well, we got like um, 3.06 um, ounces. So in the carrot, we find in this gold that the purifier of this gold is 22.55. Selling this local and us 7,996 Ghana seed. We convert it into dollars. It's going to be 5,330 dollars. I hope that's a snapshot of a day in the operations of the Nyame Nihara Mining Company gives you an understanding of the opportunities and challenges of small-scale mining in Ghana. We welcome any questions you may have on involvement in this opportunity. Contact information is given at the end of this video. Let Ghana's history of gold become your future. Don't miss out on the Ghana Gold Rush.